Hello, everybody, and welcome to Besiege. Uh, today, we do something a little bit different. I am going to do a challenge that I have seen another YouTuber do. Um, basically, I'm going to build a machine. Uh, I'm going to build a machine. And once I hit spacebar, which is how you activate the little play, that machine is built, and I can only add on to that machine. I can't take anything else away. That's going to be the challenge today. Also, this might be broken up into multiple episodes, so if I don't end on my outro, just wait until the next upload day, because then you'll get the next part. So, anyway, here we go. Now, let's set this on the ground. I'm thinking that I'm going to want to start out with just a basic car shape because I know this game well and it's annoying. <laughs> okay, um so yeah, we'll start out with just like a little basic car. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Uh, I am going to allow myself to unpause and make sure that I spun the uh, wheels the right way because I always do that wrong. So let's try that. That is the wrong way. Okay. Uh, if we just highlight it and press F, we'll flip those bad boys around. And that is the correct way. Okay. Let's speed those bad boys up. Control C. Control V. Control V. Okay, so this is our basic shape. Um, what do we want to do for a weapon? Let's do the drill, because I believe the drill can go through stone. And I know there are some levels where you have to destroy things with stone. So, yeah, let's, let's add a drill. We're gonna put it up like that because I know there's some higher up things later on. And we'll add our drill. Let's brace this too. Uh, hmm. Well, I think that's gonna be good for the first try. So let's do it. That's not how you control. That's how you control. <laughs> Easy, first one, easy peasy. Done. Second one, this one's up a little higher. Oh, what I am going to allow myself to do is upgrade parts. So, all the parts have to stay there, but say if I wanted to switch these wheels for uh, these bigger wheels, I'm allowed to do that because the part is still there. I'm just upgrading it to something else. So, for this part, that's up a little bit higher and I'm gonna want to try and hit it so let's put let's get rid of let's get rid of that and this brace which ha I have to put back and let's that, put a piston on top of a piston because I don't well but I can't brace that now um, here, here, you know what? We'll be able to do that with that. Because I have to put my brace back. So that's part of my rules. Yeah, so we'll put a brace back right there. Okay, and then we'll put the drill back. So now I have an extra block of height. Will that be able to get that? As it currently stands, no. But, if we get another piston, put it on the front right there, you see, and then, then do that, it should work. But we might be front heavy now. We are going to have to add some weight to the back in the form of a ballast. And we'll add some weight to that. Let's make it... One, right there. Okay. Now, here we actually. I'm gonna upgrade the wheels too. <laughs> Let's 
is nerve wracking because this is kind of a permadeath. Because if I fuck up and the machine dies, it's dead. So let's get these. Let's upgrade our wheels, and we'll set you back on the ground. And here we go. Okay, let's go over here. Hit the back side of it because I know there's a weak spot right here. Now. Bam! I didn't even have to use the pistons. That was probably a bad upgrade then. Okay, what do we got to do? Just reach the insignia? Easy peasy. Just drive around. Because screw going through the minefield. <laughs> Sheep like to blow things up. Ah! Oh ho 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 ho. Ah! Sorry, sheep. Hey, come on. No, I want... You know what? I'm just going to go around this rock and go around the other way. Okay. And bam! Again. Easy. What's this one? Perimeter wall. Okay. This is where it's going to start getting complicated. Because these guys are archers. They will fire at you. And they have infinite distance and infinite arrows. And they can really mess your shit up. So let's some armor on uh, there there okay all right so that's about all we can do oh we can do the wheel armor too okay we're armored up now what do we have to destroy Okay, we need to hit that, because that'll destroy all of that. So, what if we, um, we have to hit that pretty straight on, it's the only problem. Well, let's swap, well we can't swap, let's put a cannon on either side of this. Uh, go to that. Uh, now that might be really heavy. You know what? I'm going to change that back into one of these. Block is still there. There by my rule. Oh, I'm going to reattach all this because this game is... <laughs> and I replaced that wheel. I'm going to reattach all this because this game is kind of screwy sometimes with how it attaches things. But I'm going to put it all back. And the blocks are still there, so I didn't break any of my rules. And put some armor back. Okay. Armored back up. We're armored back up. We'll shoot these off. They should hit that. I should put one on top too, just to be safe. But this one will back up a bit. Or should we back them all up? I say we back them all up. That way we don't mess up the piston that I just deleted. Yeah, so we'll put our cannons here. We will drop the piston there. And then we will attach that and put that, put that there. Okay. So these will shoot. They should hit that. And then we'll be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, ready to go. How do you fire cannons again? I forget. Is it C? It's C. Okay. Here goes. Fire. And then that's, again, not how you control this game. Uh, middle click. Thank you. I keep trying to use Wasad, but it's the arrow keys is how you drive. Okay. There. Oh, okay. Get this house. We are really front heavy. We're going to need some more weight in the back. And H. Mah. I want to see that. Mah, I see. Mah. Next zone. Oh, dear lord. Okay. 
kill 90% of everybody. Oh, this is where it gets complicated. Okay. Uh, let's remove the armor and the brace. I have to keep all of that there. I'm going to amend my rules. Armor and braces can be moved and replaced at will. Because they're not really changing the structure of anything. All that has to stay, though. But I need to make something that's going to attack everything on all sides. So... Let's... Encapsulate this a bit. And then... We will work from there, because I have no idea what I'm going to do. Yeah, we'll encapsulate this. That way, we can put weapons and stuff on the sides. And, uh, make sure that's secure. Okay. So. Just adding extra support. Um. I'm thinking that we could do something like flamethrowers or cannons just like everywhere. Ooh, careful game. Okay, so that's our frame. Mm, let's support that a bit more. And, okay, that's our frame. Let's add, this is everybody. Let's just add can I add circular saws? Will that fit there? Let's raise this up a bit. Will my circular... Why can't I put circular saw? What? Can I put that there without it dragging? I think I can. So let's add circular saws at these points for the people that get too close. Okay. They shouldn't touch... They don't look like they touch the ground. So that's good. And let's add just spikes all the way around. If there's a level where we have to fly, we might run into some trouble. But for now, we're, we're doing this. Okay, so that's our death machine so far. Uh, I should probably put a support there. I can't though, because. Okay. No, I can't. Hmm. Let's do this then. Oh, I can do that. Support the frame even more. Okay. Well. And then we just add some. Oh, I know what we can add. Um, it's explosive rockets. We can just add these to the top. Oh, but they don't stay in place very well. Mm. No, we won't do that. <laughs> Maybe just flamethrowers or cannons? And, uh, this is where it gets difficult, because I don't know exactly what to do. Let's just add armor. I know we're going to need that. Is that better put there? Okay. Because there's archers on this level too, and they're definitely going to be shooting at us. And they will tear this thing apart. It doesn't matter if the thing gets destroyed and I pass the level, but if the thing gets destroyed, that's challenge over. I lost. Let's just uh, make sure we're uh, <laughs> a little armored up on the... And then we will armor this side up. See, my usual technique for this is, is I just build something, test it, and if it doesn't work, I come back. I have to be a little bit more careful playing it this way, though. Which is interesting. It's good to play games in new ways. Uh, no, I didn't want to delete that. But yeah, I saw a, another YouTuber do this. One of the ones that I really like. 
I won't name any names, but he did pretty good at it, so I thought I would imitate. I know, copying other YouTubers already and I just started. But, you know, I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, so, we have our saws for people that come close. We have the spikes. Hopefully the people run to the spikes. We should still be able to drive around. I guess now we'll just add some flamethrowers. Shrapnel uh, cannons? Yeah, no, they don't fit. Uh, do the cannons fit? Okay, cannons fit. Well, I can fit one cannon. No, what did I delete? I didn't want to delete that. I want to delete the cannon. What did I, oh, <laughs> the wheel is probably what I deleted there. No, I want... It's because it's through the ground. It's weird. Okay. Mm, shall we give it a shot? You think this will do it? Uh, I guess we'll try. Let's see if it works. 